Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is what is the total protein test. And but before sto uh, before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share the videos on this channel to support this channel. And uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit our website, which is www.diseaseandtreatment.com. And uh, alternatively, you can click the link in the description area to uh, visit this website. Now I come to the topic, what is uh, uh, like a uh, total protein test, you know. You know, uh, albumin and uh, globulin, and these are the uh, types of the protein uh, in the body, you know. And the total protein test measures the total amount of albumin and uh, globulin in the body and it is used as a part of uh, the routine health checkups you know and it may also be used uh, if uh, you have uh, like unexpected weight loss or fatigue or the symptoms of the kidney and uh, the liver diseases so in that case your doctor will advise this test you know now we need to understand what are the proteins you know you know the proteins uh, are important building blocks of all cells and tissues and the proteins are necessary for your body's growth uh, development and health and blood contains uh, these two types albumin and globulin and the albumin protein keeps uh, the fluid from leaking out of your blood vessels you know and uh, globulin protein like proteins uh, play an important role in your immune system so these are the two main functions of the uh, these two types you know. now a total protein test is uh, uh, completed as part of your uh, routine health checkup you know and uh, it's one of the tests that makes up your comprehensive medical panel you know so like uh, it may be ordered if you have like uh, um, fatigue you know or maybe edema you know symptoms of the kidney or liver diseases and unexplained weight loss you know so in that case your doctor will advise this test you know and the total protein uh, test uh, it uh, it measures the total amount of protein in your blood and uh, specifically it looks for the amount of albumin and globulin you know and uh, this test uh, will also look at the ratio of uh, albumin to globulin in your blood and uh, this is known as a ag ratio you know now the next thing is how is this test performed you know the test uses a blood sample that's analyzed in the lab you know and to get uh, the blood sample uh, the lab technician or the nurse will draw the blood from the vein in your arm or the back of the hand you know and then it will be sent to the lab you know for the test and you don't need to make any special preparation like uh, fasting etc you know and uh, uh, but uh, your doctor will let you know if you, you should avoid any foods or any drinks before the test you know and uh, if you're taking any medication uh, that can affect the test results you should tell your doctor or if you're taking any kind of counter uh, over the counter medication you should discuss this before uh, uh, giving the sample uh, you know and uh, there are certain medications that can uh, affect the results like steroids or androgens or corticosteroids or dextron you know growth hormones insulin and uh, uh, like uh, ammonium ions you know estrogen birth control pills you know so if you are taking out these medications you should tell your doctor you know uh, next thing is the are there any risk factors which are associated with this uh, test you know well very rare uh, but you may feel pain or discomfort at the blood uh, let that test you know and uh, other risks may be excessive bleeding if there is any bleeding disorder you know and fainting or feeling uh, like uh, lightheaded you know uh, development of hematoma like uh, bruising you know and uh, uh, the infection you know so these are the risk factors or uh, 
complication as you know. Now, the next thing is how to interpret the result of the total protein test, you know. Well, you know, the normal range is uh, 6 to 8.3 grams per deciliter, <coughs> which is known as uh, G per DL, you know. And this range may vary slightly from lab to lab, you know, and uh, these ranges are also due to other factors such as age or gender or uh, uh, like uh, population or uh, test method, you know. And your total protein may, uh, may increase uh, like during the pregnancy, you know. And uh, the total protein is abnormal. Uh, in that case, uh, additional tests may be needed to identify the specific protein which is low or which is high before making a diagnosis, you know. And in case of elevated, uh, like, uh, total protein may indicate, like, uh, inflammation of the, or the infection such as uh, viral hepatitis B or C or HIV, you know. And, uh, like, uh, the bone marrow disorder such as multiple um, myeloma, and others you know and uh, the low total protein may indicate like uh, bleeding uh, liver disorders kidney disorders uh, malnutrition uh, extensive burns and uh, malabsorption of in, uh, conditions such as uh, like celiac disease or the inflammatory bowel disease you know and uh, uh, like inflammatory conditions and the delayed post surgery recovery you know and the low albumin is considered uh, uh, if it's below 3.4 and it's associated with the decreased effectiveness of medications used for ulcerative purposes, you know. And uh, low albumin levels may result in complications during or after the surgery, you know. Now the next thing is what is the AG ratio, you know. So AG ratio means the uh, albumin to globulin ratio, you know, is slightly higher than 1. And if the ratio is too low or too high, additional testing may be needed to determine the cause and make the diagnosis. And if the ratio is low, it can suggest like autoimmune disease, you know, or cirrhosis or kidney disease or others, you know. And a high AG ratio can indicate genetic deficiencies or the leukemia. And make sure to discuss your results with your doctor and ask if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Goodbye.